All right, in this one, uh, you say is a two-dimensional array is diverse if no two of its rows have entries that sum to the same value. So if you add up all the things in the rows and then check that uh, against every other row when you add up all the items, then if they have the same value, it is not diverse. If you, ha if you have all different values, then it is diverse. In the following examples, and then it shows you all of that. Okay. Write a static method is diverse that determines whether the whether or not the given two-dimensional array is diverse. The method has one parameter, r2d, and it should return true or false. False if it's not diverse, true if it is diverse. So, <clears throat> uh, and then these, uh, we don't have to use array sum because we already used it. We we do need. It tells us here you must use row sums, which returns. If we remember from the other problem, it returns the sum of the rows in the sum of the rows of the 2D array, and it returns that in a 1D array. So it has the like if we had boxes, uh, the sum of the first row is in one box, the sum of the second row is in the next one, and then the third one, and the fourth one um, it's for all of the rows in the 2D array. So what we need to do is use that. And really, all that's saying is search through this and make sure none, no two numbers are equal to each other. That's all it's, that's all it's saying. So the first thing that we have to do uh, for this method is to call this so that we have a, a 1D array that has the sums of those rows. So that's what I'm going to do. So I make... Uh, room for a two or sorry a 1d array and I'm gonna use it and call row sums and inside of row sums I'm putting r 2 d that means in the zeroth box here we have the sum of the zeroth row there and then for the first row the the index one box here I have the sum of the index one row in the 2D array. So now it's all stored in there. Now all I have to do is run through this and check each box. So check each box against each other. So I'm going to draw a couple things. Say I have five boxes. This is how I'm going to explain this. So first, uh, the first time I'm going to stay right here, I'm going to use two loops. One's going to be black, one's going to be blue. Uh, and then what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to say, okay, look inside this box. Then, with another loop, I'm going to say, is this box the same as X? Yes or no? If they are the same, then I'm done. I, the, the 2D array is not diverse. If they're different, then I'm going to keep going. So then I'll move over, look in this box. Is this the same? Yes or no? If they are the same, then I'm done. And I don't have to check the rest of them, because I know that the 2D array is not diverse. If they are not the same, then I keep going, check this one, and I go all the way down. Whoops. So if I go all the way down and none of them are the same, then that means this, 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 this are all not the same as that one. So that's great. However, I haven't checked if this is the same as that. So what I need to do is move my x over. So now the outside loop is going to go and now x is here. So this one's done. I know that none of these are the same as the first one. So I don't have to look at the first one anymore. Now what I'm going to do is compare the next one over to this one. And then when I'm done with that, compare this one over to that one. And then when I'm done with that, this one to that one. And if again those aren't the same, then great. I know that all of these are not this. But I also know that all of these are not this. So that means these three right here are not definitely not the same as the first two. Hopefully that's making sense. And I'm just going to do that all the way down until I'm done with the array. So the array that I'm talking about, that red, those red boxes, that's what sums is. And I'm going to start with a for loop. For int i equals zero and I want to go all the way to the end of row sums, or sorry, sums. So I'll say i less than sums dot length. Uh, 
and then go all or and then I not T I plus plus. So that's the outside array that controls my my focus um, or my anchor, and then my inside array. I'm going to start with J. So int J gets not zero. Ooh. So remember, every time I was comparing with blue, I compared one above what this was. So remember, the, the black was the outer uh, loop. So I'm going to say J is the same thing as I plus 1. That way, no matter what this is, I'm always looking to the right of it. Uh, and then I keep going until uh, the end of the array, sums dot length and um, J plus plus, right? J plus plus. Now, maybe I'm thinking like, wait a minute. I don't want J to be to go over the end of the loop. Won't, it, won't this make it go to the end of, over the end of the loop? No, because this is at the very beginning. That's just the starting point. The ending point is here. So like everything's okay. And then, so now I have this all set up and I'm going to say if the outside loop, if uh, sums i equals equals, because inside sums are just integers, so I'm allowed to use the equals equals. If sums i equals equals sums j. So really, because the outside loop is like staying, and then I move, and I move, and I move. And then once I'm done with the inside loop, I increment the outside loop, so now it's no longer there, and I'm looking there, and then I move, and I move, and then so forth. So hopefully that makes sense. If they're the same, then I'm going to say return false. Because it was you're supposed to have false if it's not diverse. So return false. And then I can close up these. Else return true. But you don't even need an else statement because if I get through and one of these is correct, like it, it actually is um, not diverse, meaning the, there are two sums that are the same in that array, as soon as I return false, the rest of this is not evaluated. It's, it's done. It stops the whole entire method. So I can say return false. And then if it makes it through this entire set of loops, then I know this never executed. So that means I should return true. And that's because if, if, this, if, if it made it through all of these for every single element in the array, then I know that none of the entries in the array were the same as any other ones. So that means the array is diverse. And that's it. That's all we, that's all she wrote. Hopefully that's easy.